Hey, yo. Gilgamesh is the brand new season pass card. Today we're breaking down a Pixie Patriot Gilgamesh list that my boy Not My Dance made. And it's looking like a lot, a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Here is the list for you guys. As always, the deck codes can be down in the description below. We're calling it Gilgadust because it's like Pixie Dust with Gilgamesh. But anywho, let's break down each card individually to see what it's all about. First and foremost, what is a Patriot list without Wasp? Also, get some really good Pixie value. This is a card with no ability, so you get the plus two from Patriot. Um, and of course, any card that does get additional power over its base stats is what buffs Gilgamesh. We'll break that down a little bit more when we talk about Gilgamesh, but that's the first card in the list. Second card is we're running Ant-Man. It's another one drop that you can swap with uh, Pixie to enable you to be able to come get some of your larger cards to be cheaper. Also, it's a fantastic like one drop in the game right now. Um, this has an ongoing ability too. If you fill its lane in the plus four power, which is also really solid for Gilgamesh, it allows him to get his plus one for um, this card having larger power than normal. Also, you know, you can play this on curve with like a blue marble potentially too if you need to fill lanes. Just works really, really solid. Next, we got Squirrel Girl. So Squirrel Girl is a one, two. Um, her, both are squirrels that she produces that can go on to pretty much any location. Pretty much on every location. Uh, don't have any abilities, so they do get the Patriot buff, which means the plus two power. Um, and then it's another card that can get all over the board to be able to get the plus one from Blue Marvel, because Blue Marvel is kind of more of the engine we're using in this, and Patriot's another good line as well. Um, it kind of just depends on what happens with Pixie, um, but this helps you also get your Gilgamesh buff. Pixie is one of our enabling core cards in this list. Um, it shuffles the base costs of all cards in your deck. The cool thing about Pixie is the interaction with like She-Hulk and Death, which we don't have in this list, is she sh still shuffles their original cost, and that's why um, in most instances, you aren't getting like a cheaper death than normal. Um, with the Pixie kind of shuffle, like you or eight could go onto another card, but like of course we don't have death in this list, you're not really running death in that sort of situation. But it is a shuffle, it's not a swap. Not like 100% it's going to swap with whatever the new cost of the card is. So keep that in mind for sure. Next, we have Dazzle. You're filling a lot of locations. It's Patriot. You got a lot of board space kind of taken up by these cards that just don't have abilities. It's really great. We're running Ultron. So you get a lot of Dazzler um, stuff here. You know, you're filling a lot of lanes also with Ant-Man. So also some Dazzler value there as well. We got Mysterio in here. Uh, Mysterio, two of the Mysterios don't have any abilities. So it's another great Patriot buff. Um, it's another cards that take up space that's really good for the blue marble interaction in order to be able to get a bigger Gilgamesh um, as well. And it's another great card I really like to be able to keep your opponent guessing because they don't know necessarily where the real Mysterio is. We have Patriot. Patriot is one of the main cards we have in this list. It gives plus two power to any card that has no ability. This also means if a card gets Red Guardian, then it has no ability because the ability has been removed. Or if it gets Rogued, um, Patriot gives that card plus two, which is really solid. And of course, like I was saying, a lot of these cards in this list just have no abilities. Um, it works really well with the Ultron, giving you a plus two to those bots that are now one, two, um, with the most recent uh, OTA. So it's really awesome there. Mobius is enabling us to be able to make sure our Pixie one drops aren't really, if they swap with our six drops, don't stay six uh, six cost. So it keeps gets them back to one. So And then also your bigger cards stay in their situation. Also is a great counter with a lot of the Ravona you're seeing everywhere. The Loki you're seeing everywhere. Um, even the Thanos, the, with the new Thanos change. Like it just makes a lot of sense that Mobius in this list, of course for us and also to be a counter to our opponent. Um, Blue Marvel, like we were talking about earlier, um, Blue Marvel is really solid. Um, this gives a buff to every other card that you have in this entire, like, lane. Not lane, but, like, entire map of the game, your entire board space. And with this, with Gilgamesh, any card that is buffed, even with ongoing abilities, gives this Gilgamesh just plus one on reveal. Um, which Gilgamesh is the brand new season pass card that we're actually talking about. This deck it really helps with him. Plus one power for each card. Each card that has increased power in play it does not have to be just base power just increased power in any way whatsoever we're playing right now with xandar as a hot location which works really well with gilgamesh too because any cards on xandar are going to be able to give gilgamesh that plus one even if a card has been afflicted with negative power still having an increase in some way allows your gilgamesh to go off um, which is pretty interesting i don't think this card is going to be busted by any means but it definitely is a lot of fun and something you gotta gotta play around um, onslaught here we're playing a lot of ongoing cards so like with onslaught in this situation it's doubling the effect of your ongoing power there it's really good with patriot it's really good with the blue marvel 
something your opponent always has to be wary of. Um, and like I was saying, with Pixie 2, it can swap with some of your lower end cards. So you can play this out potentially on Curve, which is really solid. Um, but another just great card you're seeing a lot in Patriot, just ongoing list. And then lastly, we have Ultron. Ultron is a 6-8 and fills the rest of the board with um, Ultron drones. So it's it's only if, you know, there's space for it and everything too. Uh, but with the Patriot value, with the Blue Marvel value, if Ultron's just your final play with Blue Marvel and Patriot, uh, those are five power drones you're having on the other side of the board. If you don't have a lane fill, that's 20 power, which is just really solid. Something your opponent always has to keep in mind. Do they have Ultron? Is it in their hand? How much Ultron power? And it's, it's just really good. I think the bot change um, was really something that Ultron needed to kind of just step up to where he should be. Because overall, you know, it's such a, such a, just like a badass card. Why not have it have just a, a crazy cool ability kind of thing um, at the right turn? Because some turns, you know, if you don't get it in the right spot, it kind of just really sucks. But anywho, um, that's going to be the card breakdown. Deck codes can be down in the description below. And we're going to go ahead and jump into some gameplay. Um, as always, if you guys like the content here, definitely follow me on other socials too. We have a Twitch, TikTok, and Twitter down in the description below. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and jump straight into some gameplay, my friends. Alrighty, we got our next game over here. We have Ant-Man, we got Pixie, we got Patriot. We're looking, looking pretty solid. Um, hmm. Squirrels, good gravy. Uh, this is about to be actually really, really interesting. Really, really interesting. With these locations, we get a lot of Patriot value, which is good. But, like, I don't even know. And another Mysterio. We don't draw a single pixie. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how to feel right now. I I, uh, I think this is going to be be okay. Um, We have the Mysterios. They're floating a lot. They are floating a lot. We do get a two-cost Gilgamesh, though. I think we might just float potentially to final turn, depending on what this is. But the two cost Gilgamesh feels really good. Um, I think we snap this because we just have so much tempo. Yeah. So like that's just super solid. They don't play a single card, but like that's just one of the situations that's really good for us. I know we didn't like play a lot, but like that's a snappable moment. Top decking a two two cost Gilgamesh. They skip two turns. That's just a great instance of what we need to do there. Alrighty, we're heading into our next game over here. We got Patriot, we got Ultron, we got Pixie on Curve. Let's go! Oh my goodness, love to see Pixie on Curve. It just feels so good. Oh mama. Oh baby, this is really good for us. Really, 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 really good. If we get a Mobius too, we snap. We snap a Mobius because it just literally cancels out the Elysium. And we play Mobius left too, uh, kind of behind the pixie wall um, because it just will feel so incredible. Shauna, interesting. Onslaught, two cost Onslaught. Oh my gosh. Um, This is crazy. This is going to be crazy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Athena. Shauna, okay, so they fill with X-23, Martyr of the Hood. They got the extra power, I mean, extra energy, which is fine. I, I'm i really not worried about this, like, at all, though. Oh. My. Goodness. So, we're going to float again. It's going to be, you guys are going to think I'm crazy, but it's it's going to be, it's going to be worth it. Worth it. Angela, Blue Marvel. And then we have Ultron, Gilgamesh, and Wasp. This is going to be crazy. This is going to be crazy. Elsa into Demon. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't know about this one, Chief. I don't know about this one, Chief. And then it's Ultron Gilgamesh. And we go Burr.
for eight here? Spectrum? And to Gilgamesh? Oh, that's not enough. I'm sorry. I, I, do, I don't think that's enough, Chief. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I really don't think so. A nice little mirror match, but holy. Let's go. Let's freaking go. 32 power with the Ultron bots? Sheesh. Oh my word. That's, that's a prime example of a perfect high roll with the freaking pixie and everything. Wow. Um, that right there, of course, was a prime example of high rolling like crazy. Snapping, getting the eight cubes on that too. We're at a great starting point right now, honestly. Um, with the Dazzler getting the buff, Mobius getting the buff, Patriot. We don't have pixie in hand this time, um, but this still feels really good. Like really, really solid. Um, so I'm, I'm liking liking this a lot, especially if they're playing like a Ravona on Curve. We're gonna be doing some some Mobius stuff, um, which this probably is either a bounce list or something close. That's kind of what I'm feeling right now. That's a big Nico, big Nico. Um, we have Squirrels. We have Patriot value. We have Blue Marvel value. Okay, I like this a lot. We're actually gonna play Mobius on the right here. Um, for this potential beast interaction, which I'm thinking it, it's seeming more like a bounce opposed to an any kind of thing. Yeah, I think it's a, a, a bounce slash uh, Ravona thing. We're going to do Patriot and then probably Blue Marvel. Um, probably Blue Marvel, if I were to guess. White Widow, okay. We're getting a, getting a little saucy out here, I see. Getting a little saucy. I'm actually going to Blue Marvel left because I think we could get some sort of Professor X left situation here. And then we're probably going to Ultron right. Or Sage. That also works. Falcon. Okay. With this in mind, I fill up I can fill up here, or I can do, if I do this, this, Gilgamesh, okay? If I do this play instead, um, Gilgamesh is going to get plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So Gilgamesh plus, I guess, ten with the blue marble. Gilgamesh goes to seventeen. Um, this go, Dazzler goes up by four. Um, I don't know if that's enough power everywhere. Whereas if I do Ultron instead, um, this is four power. That's going to be five power with Ultron. It might be a little bit better if I played Ultron here. I just don't know exactly what's going there. Um, but we're going to try it with Gilgamesh. And I think Gilgamesh, we actually might be in a good spot. So that is what we're doing. They don't play anything left. So we win left. Interesting. Iron Man? I am Iron Man. Neek, what in the world? Okay. Victory. Um, but yeah, there, there we go. That's like the the just bread and butter Gilgamesh there. Um we're playing Patriot. You guys have played Patriot before. Um, but Gilgamesh has given us that extra value with the Blue Marvel buffs. It just feels really solid. And Pixie's in this list to enable you to get some of your other big cards out early. But yeah, there, there, there you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you guys did stick around in the end, if you guys could feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next video. Tuck around.